Hey folks, in this video we're going to take a look at how to access the revision history in a Google Doc and make sense of it or just be able to look at it and understand what's going on. So whenever you're in a Google Doc and you have editing capabilities, editing capabilities, if you come up here to the file menu and then you come down to where it says version history, you can select C version history. And so what Google does, many of these, you know, many of these document programs do is actually keep a ongoing list of edits and changes that are going on and are able, you are able to kind of see and even revert to previous versions. So uh, notice it tells us right off the bat, there's been 23 edits. Uh, if I click on the expanded uh, detailed version, it will give me a little bit more of like what's gone on. Uh, and I can do that with both of these. Now, if I go back to this first one, when I first created the document, it's blank. And this is, it tells me the, the date and the time. Now, notice in the next minute, all of a sudden, it has all of the stuff. And notice it's highlighted. That tells me, first of all, if I hover over it, it tells me who put it in there. Uh, but it also tells me that this was all entered at once. Uh, and if I come up here to 209, uh, now this has already been here, but it does show me potentially what has been edited. So in this case, if I scroll down, I can find uh, the thing that's been edited, but of course I can't find it in this moment. Uh, oh, so actually I was looking too hard. It's very subtle, but we remove the A uh, for all of these. And that was just because this was a Q&A and didn't need it. All right, so this shows me, you know, that I want to jump into another document where you can see it's actually built out a little bit more. So again, if I come in, he come in here and under File menu and select Version History and see Version History, now I can once again see. Well, this has a lot more dates from July 31st up through the present. So if I wanted to look what it looked like on the 5th, I can see like, oh yeah, there is stuff that's been like edited out and stuff that's been added. Uh, I can come up to the most present date and see like, okay, most of this stuff has been changed. Okay, this was added uh, apparently. Was there anything else? Nope, that's it. So now if I wanted to actually change what was here, I, there was a version I needed to go back to because I accidentally edited things out. I can actually click on the three buttons. I can do Three different things i can restore this version so in the document that i'm in now i can restore this version I can name this version maybe i want to make distinguishing versions that i name just so i have a chance to go back and look at it at a particular point i can also make a copy and so there's an instance where you might have edited something else or done something but you really want that however you've also added things since then and you don't want to delete that so in those cases it would be great to make a copy so that you can have that and take whatever it is that you needed you know from that previous version and then copy and paste it back into the new version so that's the version history it can be really helpful um, and you can actually also up here toggle back and forth between all versions and named versions. Um, it's just a really useful tool to have for yourself. It's also a useful tool to use with students if you have them using Google Docs, having them share edit uh, the edit, uh, give you editing capabilities. That will mean you will be able to go in and take a look and get a sense of what their progress is and how they've developed uh, their material, their particular thing that they're submitting uh, over a period of time and see their process. And that can always be really insightful to understand how the student is approaching it, what ideas that they have, uh, and potentially give certain advice or uh, be clear about how to help them. So hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.